The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down at 362. You get the Nasdaq off 85. S&Ps are down 28. Gold down 3 bucks, trading at 1277. Silver down 12 cents, $16.31. Light sweet crude off half a buck, $65.31. Notes and bonds, 10 year note up 10 ticks, 119.29. 30 year bond up 22, 144.08. King dollar, King dollar's up by 293 ticks, 94.750. The euro is at 115.67 to one US dollar. Yen is out here at 109.83 to one US dollar. If we go over to those future markets, uh, in the agriculturals, they are getting toasted and roasted. You get cotton down 4.5%, beans are down 4.5%, wheat's down 4%, corn's down 3%, lean hogs are down 2.5%. A lot of red on that board, man. Oh, Come on, baby. these markets, watch out. Big numbers and the amazing part, well, it's, it's, I can not totally understand it today, notes and bonds. Yeah. Bottom line, there's notes and bonds have been saying for a long time. Guess what? It's deviant, but people want to make sure they get their money back. Definitely. That's all that's about. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, outstanding program, Kevin and his team, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test-driven yet the TD Ameritrade platform, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring it up, can trade with paper money, go through the strategies, and let me tell you something, man, volatility, we're in the summer, you think it's going to slow down? Guess what? I think we're probably only beginning. You think they'll have something to talk about today? Maybe. I, they're gonna have, we're all going to have something to talk about today, man. <laughs> Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Hello, Tom. Hello, Tommy. How you doing, man? Another slow, another slow summer trade. I'll tell you. You know, um, there's no doubt. And you know what's intriguing is that, you know, the S&Ps got into that uh, low at 3 o'clock this morning, come back. And, you know, it looks to me like, you know, Shanghai, that got toasted. It's like, we want to get down. But, you know, this market's so deviant. I could, I just listened to the update, and Netflix is at all-time highs. It's like, yeah, guess yeah, what? You're going to boost a $500 price time. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. you know, the NQs right now, we're, let's see, the NQs are down 94. They're, they're out, you know, bottom line is that it's going to take a lot more than this to really jam that lower, I think, because they're testing their lows. We'll see how this shakes out, man. But yeah. this is where... But, yeah. There, there's a long way to go today, Tom, and people are going to have to make the, the decision from a trading perspective. Is this a dip or buy, or is this a real correction and a lingering trade issue with China, right? Because, you know, I kind of like what our administration is doing by, by raising to $200 billion, the tariff. Now, that's more than, than, than we import from China. Right, so they really can't come back with 200 million on, billion on us because we don't buy more than that from them. The math isn't going to add up. So it's an interesting uh, kind of a chess game being played here, and I think it's going to affect a lot of the futures and how we trade. I think this is the big story of the day, Tom. Yeah, you know, I suspect the, the way my head's kind of wrapping around this thing when I'm looking at that agriculturals you know you can you can make you can make the case yeah you know I was talking about this the other day and there's plenty of listeners saying hey listen man all the big companies own all the farms I I would say that guess what they own the majority of them but these agricultural crops getting hit are gonna hurt a lot of cities man and that is gonna basically keep volatility high and you know push things around quite a bit, you know, because... You're exactly right, Tom, but I'm going to give you a little more reasons why maybe this this is maybe a, a pretty good opportunity here. You've got you're, you've got a trade war, right? Yeah. Or, or the risk of a trade war that's affecting grain prices. But you've also got pretty favorable crop conditions in U.S. grains. And the weather, 
in the U.S. Corn Belt. We just got another soaking here last night. Okay. From Nebraska all the way through Illinois, got another big dose of rain. So you know that the rain is going to bring lower prices. And so not only are we having warm weather in the Midwest, but we're getting timely rains right when they seem to need it so far. And that's what's hurting some of grain prices as well. It's not just a trade war. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The overall improvement of the of the, the crop conditions here in the Midwest. Right. That's bringing, taking something out of grains because, but, you know, let's face it. They lowered all the carryouts last time. Demand is good. But this crop is looking as of right now. But if you go to the long-term uh, weather forecast, it is for hot and dry. So if this rain stops coming, we're getting, like I said, really timely rain. If that stops, you're going to see a recovery in these grain prices. Sure. Yeah, hot and dry, just like at that U.S. Open, man. Fast greens, right? Oh they my kind of, God, man, that was that was the Seriously. hot and dry, man. Yeah, yeah. across the nation. For That's sure. great information, Kevin. That because is. you know, when I first, I mean, I, I when I first put this up, I said, "Oh man, look at this." But yeah. guess what? It's rain. A little bit of a perfect storm. Oh, no it is. Intended, no, totally, right? man. Perfect Listen, storm. You know, you, you get you got plenty of rain. I I mean, because every year we seem to get better. At the amount of planting that we can do, right? That, that well, technology is yeah, yeah right. it increases the yield for the right. I'm sure, right? Right. No, it's 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 constant improvement. Yeah. 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 So I mean, the last chapter has not been written in this grain market. So in this, remember, it's May. It's or it's, I'm sorry, it's mid June. It's er, still early in the in in the in the season. And so far, though, the rains have been really timely and effective, hitting the right spots in yes. terms of geography. I love it. So, what are we going to be talking about today, Kevin? Today, uh, Scott Connor and Tom White are doing the show today, and they're going to be talking about butterflies. Okay, so nice. Talk about all the time on the show. We do a lot, especially as we're coming up to the next earnings season. They're going to show you how to do butterflies and unbalanced butterflies that help you with the uh, earnings play. Nice. nice. And we have oh, Oracle. I was going to say, we still have earnings Oracle and FedEx after the belt today. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. FedEx, FedEx is a big one. Today. That's a FedEx is, is uh, reacting negatively this morning already. And whether that's, you know, like just like grains, there's a lot going on, man. They got there earnings. Is. They have, you know, they're obviously a world player in terms of economic right. development helps yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. Trading FedEx uh, during the show today. Nice. And paper money. So, yeah, that is, stay tuned for that. And of course we get we get the dollar the dollar that thing you know we get uh, well the index itself is at ninety four seven thirty well it's going to be intriguing is that you know the stronger that keeps getting you know some of the whether we go to Argentina whether you go to Brazil whether you go to Mexico I mean those things well particularly Argentina and um, uh, Brazil those currencies are getting killed man so it's going to be intriguing like how does that play out even in the agricultural business right like because our dollar is worth so much more there bringing goods in right just, just remember something as you look at lower grain prices and threats like this there's only a finite amount of grain in the world tom yes so if china were to buy grain from someone else let's say brazil or argentina someone else is just gonna that means someone's not buying that grain and they're gonna buy it here so it's not like there's an yeah. infinite amount of grain and competition, and if you don't sell yours, it won't get sold. That's just not accurate, right? And and the one thing that we know that you can't starve your populace, so then you have a revolution. There we go. <laughs> so, right? Grains are that important, right? Yeah. Totally. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now. Kevin, thanks so much. Have a great one, safe one. We look forward to showing 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading News letters.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow down 388, Nasdaq down 88, S&Ps are off 29. So China last night, uh, you know, Let's when you jump back over, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, yeah, quite, quite a lot of numbers coming out of there. So you have the indexes, whether it was the Shenzhen, right, down yes. like five plus percent, which right. is a smaller one, Shanghai down three point something percent. Yes. Um, but pretty remarkable in terms of, <clears throat> excuse me, over a thousand stocks were down, limit down, which is 10 percent. Um, so it could have been a lot worse. You know, oh, yeah. thousand stocks that right. they had to stop the pain. That's remarkable. I mean, you think about our S&P 500, double that, a thousand stocks down 10%. And that doesn't mean they're not going to hit. So if we bring this up for a second, watch Go this. What you had is this, and this is where this whole February 9th deal comes back, these high volume lows. What you're going to see is that the, if I bring the Hang Sang up first, okay. you'll see that the Hang Sang was testing the February 9th swing low. And you, you actually got the test on lighter volume. So okay. if we bring this up, you're gonna see February 9th, we're over here. Um, you got, uh, what, 5.3 billion. Yep. Last night we committed to it with uh, 3.7. Yeah, um, big numbers, man. When you look at that chart, we're right at that level. And, yep. um, and then if you go to the same gene, though, uh, the... Uh, one more, hold on, hold on, okay. there we go. That blew out the bottom, like in a huge way, and and that's a that's a heads up to me. That's a heads up for our market. That guess what, uh, this thing, not only blew it out. When you see yeah. the the volume, oh, I mean, the February six percent in a day, right? Yeah, here's Thanks. your here's your February 9th, uh, high volume day. Nineteen billion, you blew it out with twenty one, and just took it out, man. Yes, like butter. Oh, like way, butter. way below that number. Pretty amazing. It is. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute. Um, as we do each and every uh, Tuesday at uh, 20 past the uh, hour. Daryl Martin, what's going on? How you doing, man? We're doing great, man. Yourself? Doing fantastic. Cool. So we we got uh, we got a nice volatile market. Uh, what are you uh, looking at out here today? Um, I have been looking over at uh, the FDAX. So getting some nice movement. Any particular forex? I mean, there's there's a lot rocking over there. The dollar, euro. You're looking at uh, Asian <laughs> currencies, the yen. What are we what are we talking about? 
Uh, on the FX side, looking at the pound yen. Okay. Oh, I was saying the FDAX, so, um, as well, for the indice. The FDAX? Yep. Tell me what that is. Uh, that is the, um, it's the German, main German index. Oh, the, the DAX. The DAX. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's that? What's that? A Texas accent? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that probably comes from yeah. Frankfurt, right? Frankfurt is that where that F maybe? Yeah, they call it F Dax over on uh, Nadex. Okay. So nice. And so when when you, when you're looking at the uh, the F Dax on Nadex, when does that get a active? Uh, like three in the morning? Exactly. It starts off at three a.m. Okay. And then it goes to three in the afternoon. Yep. Okay, nice. I'm jumping over there. It right trades now. in whole points instead of half points. So, and plenty of liquidity. So, so. Is it, that's going to be the Germany 30. Is that what we're pulling up on Nadex, Errol? Yes. Nice. That's it. Nice. And those have a 4 p.m. So, when we're looking at those, I'm just pulling up the spreads initially. Those have a 4 p.m. expiration? Correct. And how do they? They start up at, they start up at 3 a.m. They take in whole points. Okay. So instead of you know pretty much like the um, like the mini DAX, so and so they'd close though, let's see way before four right? I mean the main the, their their main indice closes before is that, is that four Eastern time? I believe so. Yeah. Yep. So is that kind of an arbitrary level that four p.m. there all because it's kind of that's like a U.S. closing time right? Whereas in in general you're going to get a lot of that action up to noon or something. Yeah, eleven thirty right. Yeah, it can. It's pretty busy, obviously, when it first opens up at 3 a.m. Yeah, and um, and then it you know goes for several hours, and then it gets busy, of course, in the morning with the U.S. session and dies off usually around you know noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, nice. because unless there's something that's really happening in our market that worldwide starts right. pushing those futures, sure. you know, your close is pretty pretty tight. That's yeah. what it comes down to, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And it's pretty active, so it's a nice uh, sort of like Nasdaq. Yeah, the, the 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 DAX is always everyone. Future traders always like the DAX. Some volatility. The, the, yeah, right, there's no doubt. Sure. Yeah, you can move. Well, what's cool about the DAX too is that it's kind of just like the Dow, meaning that if you can get a couple of those big stocks right, you you yeah. you have a you have a good because the weighting structures are, are like the Dow. Like for instance, Boeing's down three it, plus exactly. percent today, and exactly. that's a big number on the you Dow. Know, as it's down yeah. one point five percent. You stop sure. you stop moving those babies around and. And of course, what happens over there? They're still going through those scandals, man. <laughs> well, the Audi, the yeah. car. You see, the Audi guy got yeah. arrested over yeah, the weekend. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, that was crazy. That is. They, yeah, you know, they, you don't see them any arresting any bank people over here. <laughs> they, they must cover their tracks a little better than the Audi people. I guess, I guess. so. Yeah. I guess so, man. There's no doubt. Seriously. Pretty wild. So, what else this week, Daryl? We know, um, you know, in terms of uh, what you're looking for trading in terms of any economic indicators of course we have some earnings today oracle fedex but nothing too crazy on the earnings front nothing too crazy on the economic calendar but we get oil of course tomorrow we get natural gas what are you looking for this week um not a whole lot on the uh like seven the earnings side and then on the economic calendar side um not a whole lot that i'm looking to build things around one thing i have played with is i'll trade copper like when there's building reports like this morning with building permits okay so uh because you know the when we see building reports come out, that does impact the copper market. And um, I'm not a big fan of trading copper on the futures because it can just explode. But um, if I can play it, you know, a little bit safer with uh, spreads, I like that. We do have, um, let's see, we had, and earlier this week, of course, we had this morning with the ECB, um, and Draghi talking a little bit, so that, you know, helped the euro move around. And, um, yeah, the so euro, the euro is starting to catch a bid right now. So it's going to be interesting to see as we go through this day. You know, they, they had that thing, they think got smoked, there's no doubt, last week as the dollar went topside. But you can see it's been clawing its way back, you know, since this morning. So we'll see how this that shakes out market-wise, too. Yeah, and we're right near kind of those lows that we made at the bottom of that cascade last week. I mean, I think we spiked down there right to about 115.50, something like that. So we were back down right below that level this morning and coming back a bit. But... Should be an interesting well, level. Tomorrow right? morning at 9:30, we got everybody talking. We got um, RBA governors talking. We got the ECB. We got Draghi talking. We got the Bank of Japan talking. We got a Fed chair speaking at 9:30. So we ought to have some nice FX um, activity in the morning. Nice. So at 9:30. 
And there's no doubt that if we take a look at our own markets here, uh, you know, we'll see where the, the rest of this is going to shake out coming, coming into the uh, end of the day. But uh, this market here, S&P-wise, is battling itself in a big way. Lots of trading left in terms of pretty tight trading range from the open, right? We got a little yeah. bit of a pop, but we're kind of hanging at those levels, which is interesting. We're now almost a full hour into the trading day. And... Uh, Market's still trying to figure out which way we want to go, I think. I, in a, you can see the S&P. I mean, it, the thing that's intriguing is that, you know, we got down to 27.35 last yeah. night. It doesn't seem like it wants to break this 27.49. So that's, We're 15 points off those lows. That's a right. big number, right? right. Definitely. Totally. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have a great week, safe week. We appreciate the update, Daryl. Hey. You have a good one. You Thank too. You. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials are down uh, 398. NASDAQ is off 96. S&Ps are down 30. Coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow uh, off 415. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 106. S&Ps are down uh, 32 percentage-wise out here. What you have, you have the Dow down 1.6 percent. Nasdaq 1.3. S&Ps nine tenths of one percent. Uh, if we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here uh, in this market, so uh, Snap is down a buck 30. We got Twitter down 211. 
what's going on in the social media yeah. stratosphere, man? Can we jump? What is what is going on with Snapchat? I'm always interested. I'm a Snapchat user. Okay. I'm 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 a millennial. No, I'm not, <laughs> I wish I was, but that's all right. I am a Snapchat user. Uh, Six point three percent. And there's no news on it whatsoever. Let's see. No, they, I was expecting why, right? Nope, more than any full day drop since May 2nd. Gotta love that, since May 2nd. It's like six weeks, you know, as in it's yeah. down 6%, the most since the last six weeks. Um, and when you look at it, that's nothing, really. You just pulled up oh, the S&P. Okay, yeah. SMAP. That's when you look at the S&P, it's nothing. Really. Right, no. Yeah, well, yeah. that's that's uh, this one, technically. It's up to the gap, gives it up, pulls yeah. back. But if, guess what? If it's light volume, it'll pull back. Won't be the end of the world. How about Twitter too? Did you say Twitter is down yeah. as well? Okay. Yeah, that one. That's not nothing. Yeah, right. I mean, quite a run for Twitter. Oh, so huge. You can see a, a pullback. You know, not a big deal. You got uh, Apple's down four, almost five dollars. You yeah. got Dropbox down three. That's big. That's almost nine percent. Uh, Facebook off four. Tesla's getting some acceleration. It's down 24 now. We just brought it up. It was down 18. I'm just going to jump over. I wanted to see if I still had the article down. Uh, yeah, so this was an interesting one where U.S. chip makers could be the biggest casualties. Right. So they have the highest revenue exposure to China at 52% of their revenue. Just yes. something to keep in mind as you see those chip makers. That's, that's quite a number. Um, there's no spinning that number, you know, in terms of 52% of that revenue. And that's why, you know, you saw it. Kevin Hanks talking about the actual like goods that are there, but yes. this is where you can see some carnage, man, in the market. Oh, this, this, when the, you have that the, type of revenue. So my understanding is that the chip makers make their designs in the U.S. Okay. Um, then once they get it all set and they know what they want, then they ship them over to China, get them made inexpensively. Produce them over there, sure. And yeah. that, they they will they've been fighting this. The chip makers oh, have been sure, fighting right. this in a huge way. They. Yeah. People are going to get hurt. That's the bottom line. You know, you're not going to have carnage like this with people who aren't getting hurt. Yeah, it's just, no, I, mean, I mean, the Chinese market's down 5%. You know, that's that's real deal, so we'll see how it shakes. But well, we're right in the early, early stages, too, which is kind of the scary part in terms of we're only on, you know, the second move, the second pawn in, in what could be quite a game. NVIDIA's back at yes. uh, 930. Well, it, it's going to be, you know, intriguing would be the wrong word for it, but... Uh, as to what happens in China. I remember when China was just starting, and the differential is if, in fact, all these prices are going to go up, people are going to be in shock sure. that what we stop paying for things. Because sure. what, what had happened is that at the very beginning, I mean, and I'm going right back to like 1980 now, okay? At the very beginning when Shanghai opened up, because well, first it was Hong Kong, then Shanghai was the first place that opened up. What happened is that all of a sudden, you know, you're shopping and say, wow, you can buy this for this now, meaning so inexpensive. Yes. And that happened, first it happened, um, you know, let's say it's on shirts, and then it took like three or four or five years for it to go through sure. all the different things. And let me tell you something, if we start paying up, we're going to be in shock as to what some of the stuff, so don't throw any of your stuff away right now in your closets, <laughs> folks, <laughs> because we just might be sure. in shock at, at what actual physical labor actually costs to put some stuff together. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, let's go over to the note and bond market. So, you know, we know market's down, but people want their money back. Um, yeah, let's see. Where, where am I? I'm on U.S. 30-year bond, USU. USU 8 currency. Is it a currency? Uh, maybe it's telling me. I'm just, yeah. I don't know. I'm just guessing. No. No looking at bonds for you. They're secretive yeah, tonight. Yeah, totally. USU8. That's yeah. right. USU8. Yeah. USU8. Stay right there. Currency. Okay. Oh, was it? Did it come up? I think commodity. Yeah. Oh, that's what they, they go back and forth on this. USU. Do they? You yeah. sure? Yeah. <laughs> they go back Long and forth. Bond. They go back and forth, folks. They're going to tell them a commodity now. Okay, we so we get 166,000 contracts. You know, this high volume wants to get whacked, which is 145.28. It's going to need more volume out here, even to say, well, actually, you know, you're going to do 300,000. It's only 10 o'clock, eh? yeah, 10.30. Right. No. Uh, the 10 year, so right now we get the 10 year yield at uh, 2.873. The 10 year has a big move out here today. Commodity. Look at that. Oh, it's got you on currency. Yes, it's 
Maybe it's the 10 they give it in currency and the 30 they want a commodity. Who knows? Who knows? Um, the 10, now this is a big move in the 10 year. Let's say get 962,000 already. You're going over 2 million, we'll get 2 million. Right? Bottom line is that that wants higher price. The TLT, it's going to need more volume, but that's good. That, that's sticking out like a sore thumb, the 122.52. Oh, let's go back over when we were just talking with Daryl. I want to go back over the, the China market. Is when you see this, this, this market here. And this is, so picture this, folks. The, the same Jing was down 5.7%. And they had stopped 1,000 stocks from trading because yes. they were down a full 10%. I think it's a Shenzhen. Shenzhen, it, it is. Thank you. There's no G in there. Shenzhen. Shenzhen. Nope, nope, no G. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it out of there. There's no G in there. So you can see, I mean, it just took this high volume low, uh, like yeah. sliced it in half. Yes. Can you go to the description after you do this yeah. uh, just for that index? And I know this yeah. is the smaller index compared to, like, Shanghai. Um, yes. Uh, well, it's... Um, market cap weight, no free flow factor that tracks stock performance of all the A and B shares. In On the, the Shenzhen. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was going to say, you know, how many so, or whatever. Well, there it is down there. Members at 2,147. Down in, information index. Sorry, I don't right know. Here. Okay. So is that, okay. That's the members. That's how many stocks are in, the, in it. Uh, look at this last night. There you go. 1938 were down, 42 were up. Find me those 42 stocks that are up, man. Go ahead, listen. I can. Well, they're all numbers. Though, there you right? go. Yeah. <laughs> That's, and, and the Asia, they, they do track as numbers. Oh, I don't know if it's going to come up. Okay. Nope. They're not going to let you see. Oh, oh there, there they are. are. Oh, there yeah. they are. Yeah, so yeah. that's all right. I want to, you know. So but... watch, watch. So let's just see the, so the, the best stock, will that be percentage wise? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what that is. Contemporary. A equity, contemporary, operates a battery product manufacturing company. <laughs> the company produces, sells battery materials, energy batteries. It's, 52 week high today. Yeah. So that, you know, that, and that's, guess what? Let's, oh, look at that. That's, <laughs> it's an IPO every day. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be wary of anything over there right now. Oh. As in, you know, you pull up the biggest gainer in the day, and that's what it looks like? Watch yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. That's a exactly. red flag, man. 877-927-6648. How about FedEx real quick, just FDX. to pull up that chart? Because they got earnings after the bell today, and uh, I believe they're down. Yeah, they're down pretty pretty decently. I mean, you're approaching 3% on that ahead of, and, you know, you see an economic slowdown, that's going to hit them because they, they push out some economic activity in terms of they supply, you know, the products. If we're not selling, we're shipping. There's February 9th. Wow, that's the day. It's the day on every chart. Right? Uh, it's the day on every chart. A lot of them have hit it. Like okay. if you, we go when we come back. Watch. We, if you go to Google, Google hit it, rejected it with lower volume, and and we got a guest coming back, Gail Mercer. Come on back, folks. We'll be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down uh, 390. Nasdaq's off 100. S&Ps are off 30. Let's go over to Gail Mercer uh, from Trade has helped us as we are going to be coming over to her each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. 40 past, we're there. 40 Time past the hour. We're rocking. That's right. There we go. Uh, welcome back to uh, TFNN. Gail, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. So I know we have a, a few charts uh, we're going to take a look at. Yeah, so, so uh, Gail, it was great. You sent over an email this morning kind of talking about what you've been looking at. We've had some big moves in currencies for sure. And um, what are you looking at this week in the market? Where do you want to start off with? Um, well, what I'm looking at this week in the market is uh, the euro dollar and the British pound dollar again. Okay. I think if you'll remember, we were discussing last week how we get divergences right before a major market report. And I just wanted to take a minute to show everyone what happened at FOMC last week. Yes. Perfect. And and we have that chart up. We're looking at the pound US dollar and I have it prior to FOMC, correct? Is that what we're looking at? That is correct. Okay. And you'll see the blue lines actually identify lower highs in price but higher highs in the cumulative delta now that's also known as hidden divergence and i actually went short on the british pound right at uh i think it was about 130 because i saw the pattern appearing and it moved down 50 pips in a matter of about five minutes now the cumulative delta tell me what that is cumulative delta is actually measuring on Forex, it measures the uh, ticks between the bid and the ask. So in this case, we can't get what is referred to as market orders. We only get what's referred to as limit orders because we're using ticks because it doesn't really have a central exchange. So what it does, if the bar is green, then that is a bullish bar. If it is red, it's a bearish bar. Very similar to your price bars. And you can actually use candlestick formations to read the cumulative delta as well as read the candlesticks in price as well. So when we're looking at this, what you're saying is that the cumulative uh, delta was actually going up. So the, so the offer side of the bid and offer would be going up and the price mm -hmm. was still going down, right? Would that be correct? Right. Okay, cool. That is correct. Okay, cool. And now on the volume indicator below that is called a directional volume indicator. You can see that the little gray line on that last bar is below zero. So that also shows you that sellers dominated that bar. And, you know, if sellers step in and dominate on a high, normally that market is going to go down. 
Cool. Nice. And that, that, okay, awesome. And the second child? Yeah, no, so okay. I know, um, and just jumping uh, maybe ahead, but I know the second chart you sent over talks about that cumulative data, data volume analysis, right, Gail? That, that is correct. Okay. And on this one, this is right before the ECB president spoke this morning. And you can see that the last price bar is a bullish bar and that the cumulative delta showed how strong the sellers actually stepped into that market. And that, again, is indicative that the market is going to go down during his speech. And it did. It moved down 36 pips. Now, 36 pips with a binary option, that's nine strikes. So these are ideal conditions for trading those out of the money binary options. Oh, interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, because you could have risked 10, 20 bucks on this particular setup with the potential of making, you know, 80 to 90 dollars. Yeah. Right. That's a big move, 36 pips, right? Yeah, it yeah. is. Right. Yeah. Right. In a, in a time is. frame of a daily or even a, and we a couple see hours. It. it moved, the, you know, the, the, the euro moved. It was a nice spike higher. Yeah. No doubt, man. It was in the, the 36 pips. I mean, that was the next 15-minute bar. So these are ideal situations for, you know, intraday traders wanting to take advantage of a move without risking a lot of money. And then jumping over to pound U.S. dollar we have, and that is, uh, is that as well, when are we looking at this? Is this prior to, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, we're, we're staying on your U.S. dollar. I was jumping around. Excuse me. Oh, no, I wanted to go to the next one. Yes. Where it compares the British pound to the euro dollar. Okay, perfect. And we have it up, yeah. To me, this is just, it speaks magnitude about the markets and what goes on behind those price bars. Because if you're looking at the pound dollar, you can see there's still a lot of selling in there because predominantly you have red bars on the cumulative delta. But look at the euro. The euro is predominantly green bars. And that tells you we've all heard about the hidden buying behind the bar price bars. That's what's going on on that chart. Now, what you want to do is wait for a bear trap setup, which simply means they're going to come back and test the low. And they tested the low about 815 this morning, and then it moved up, um, I want to say, about 34 pips off of that. And again, right before a market report. Nice, nice. Now, now you're going to be doing a, a webinar, right, over in the Nadex platform? I am. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., I'll be presenting on the cumulative delta and volume analysis tomorrow morning. So for those traders that want more information or want to learn how to trade this technique, you can come into the room. It's free of charge. So you can get some education while you're in the room. Nice. And we made it, <clears throat> excuse me, as easy as possible. So right at TFNN, folks, you can visit the front page of our website. Right under Breaking News, you'll see the fourth link there, Nadex Educational Webinars. You click that link, you go over here, and there's Gail right down there. She'll be there tomorrow. And, of course, they have a bunch of webinars in there. We have a webinar going on today, it looks like, at noon, talking about short-term forex trading. And uh, we've had John Skelton on the program before. He sure. works with Daryl. He's doing a webinar on, looks like, Thursday. So we made it easy as possible. You can get over there, register completely free, and be in that webinar tomorrow morning right after our show, which is perfect. Yeah. Not and, then, and then a breaking news, too. So you, know, you have an article over there, too, about, uh, is it the article about the exact same thing we're talking about? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I was talking about it earlier this morning because I expected the euro to go up and during the U.S. session, and so far it has. Nice. And yeah. so that one as well, same thing right under breaking news, just different link, Nadex Market News. It'll get you over there. And as you scroll down, there's Gail's article right there from this morning. And Reading talking. cumulative delta volume to identify the next move. Nice. Very timely for what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Digging right and into it. There's no doubt that these currencies, with you know, since that FOMC uh, in the U.S., uh, these moves have been huge. Yes. I mean, that, that dollar took off topside. Euro gets smoked. Uh, bottom line, we'll see how the rest of it shakes out. But uh, big numbers, man. Yeah, really big numbers. I think it's going to be an exciting summer for the currencies. And how long is that webinar that you do tomorrow, Gail? Um, it's probably going to be about an hour long. Perfect. Perfect. That's a good time frame. Everybody's going to make two for an hour. Yeah. That's As right. I asked, I said, don't say three hours, right? No, I mean, no, for sure. You jam in some good information. Span is 60 like, yeah, minutes, right? Totally. 
That's right. Well, Gail, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I uh, look forward to having you on next week. Look forward to the uh, uh, webinar. Well, thank you. Y'all have a nice day. You okay. too, Gail. Have a thank great you. one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Those S&Ps just got a little pop. We're only down 23 right now. Come right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last Last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow down 319, NASDAQ off 23, s and P's down uh, 76. And we were just doing that interview with Gail. That was uh, quite a pop. Yes. You know, yeah. 10 S&P points, 9 S&P points on one bar, folks. And a good 100 points in the Dow in yeah. that same yeah. general area. Yeah. Uh, let's go take a look uh, inside the Dow. We know that the, one of the culprits is going to be uh, <laughs> Boeing. Uh, Boeing. Yeah, let's see if anything is... Uh, and oh, this, yeah, you get Verizon in the green. Okay, Check Boeing's out, Boeing's a culprit. Look at that number. Man. Eighty-one negative points. Yeah, just from Boeing. Yeah. Caterpillar thirty-six, three M thirty. Yeah. Um, in the positive, Verizon six, Johnson Johnson four, Procter and Gamble two. Inside the NDX one hundred, you got uh, a Biogen uh, up two percent. Now Biogen got killed yesterday. It okay. was down six percent yesterday. Uh, look at Tesla. Tesla's down five and a half percent. JD's down five. Baidu's down 3.8. What happened with JD? Yeah. In terms of maybe Google should have waited a few days for that $500 million investment. They China. Would, they exactly. would have gotten a better price tag. Exactly. So if we take a look at that, 
It's not even that bad compared to what happened to China last night. Right? It's not, but I mean, the value of the company just went down by 10 percent. Um, right. right. It's in the last 24 hours, practically. So yep. pretty remarkable. Doesn't take much. No. Uh, we go take a look at that Dow. Uh, actually, you know, I want to go to the small caps. We haven't done the small caps sure. yet because the small caps went to new all-time high. Yes, see, small caps won't back off. Yeah, then. yeah. Small caps down at buck thirty-one, one sixty-seven. It makes sense. They might not have as much uh, exposure to the worldwide. They don't. Yeah, no. you do your smaller companies. Small caps. You know, you don't good old USA. Yes. That's that's what's happening here. Those, that S and P, whole different animal, man. Sure. Whole different animal. You get exposure um, in China. Get out of the way, man. Stay right there, folks. We got uh, swim lessons coming up next. Then, of course, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back as well as our man, Mr. Andy Heck. Thanks, Thanks man. Wow! Well, Look at him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.